Hi everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and this is a Mac, and this is a PC. No, I'm kidding. Today we're taking a look at the Takara Legends line. This is Astro Train. Basically the version of Astro Train everybody would have gotten had uh, it been fully revealed in full color photos when this version, the Hasbro version, was released. We're starting off in space shuttle mode because, you know, I'm crazy like that and well, that's how he came out of the box. Basically, and I guess this, I can have the video right here. This is the G1 color scheme. This is the ver color scheme of Astro Train everybody would really want. This isn't that bad. Um, it's a little different. I think it's closer. I mean, it's sort of like what the original toy looked like with the white and black, although the instead of white, it's a, like a creamish gray. But this is how it looks. Uh, in the comics, from what I understand. I could be wrong. Don't sue me. But th this is Astro Train. I mean, th this right here is what everybody wants. Um, it's the exact same vehicle modes. Um, you still have the storage up here for the uh, Titan Masters. The canopy opens. We'll take a closer look at those guys in a minute. But, you know, the vehicle mode is the same. Here you have the... Uh, landing gear and all that, you know, same under here, lots of different ports and what have you for, uh, you know, pegging the weapons in. I do want to mention, just on mine, the Hasbro version. Some of the ports are a little loose, uh, and the weapons tend to just spin and droop freely. I haven't had that problem on the Dakar version. That's strictly QC. Your mileage may vary. Now, let's take a look at the next mode. Oh my god, what am I doing? I went to the robot mode next. The robot mode should have been last. Oh my god, cats and dogs are friends. Fish are now ruling the world. Or maybe, as everyone probably realizes, it's easier to go to robot mode from the space shuttle mode, which is why we're here. But again, as you can see in robot mode, you do have uh, some of the de different details now pick coming out. Uh, the chest paint there. Uh, both of it is accurate to the original, uh, you know, the character and stuff. It's just that the the Takara version is a little bit darker. You have some different detailing here on the legs. It, it's different because it's a whole dish different color scheme. It's not like one thing wasn't painted over the other. I mean, I'm, I mean, just uh, you know, if you outside of the wings in terms of the detailing here, as you can see. In fact, let me see if I can swing this out just to show you that. As you can see on the uh, Hasbro one, the wings are pretty much plain, but on Takara, they did go ahead and paint in the detailing, uh, well, a little side detailing, and a Decepticon logo, which is accurate to the original, um, I think actually the animation model. I'm not, I don't remember the original toy. To be honest, the only version of Astro Train I ever had was the, uh, the, the commemorative reissue that was that white repaint, and then... Uh, you know, the, uh, the, the the Platinum Edition, which was uh, a whole little tribute to uh, the Land Cross team. But anyway, uh, you know, here the robot mode is more accurate. We'll take a closer look at the heads in a minute. But, you know, again, the detailing is very different. This is closer to that animation model. This is closer to that comic book model. I have the little head pylons up because that's just accurate overall to the Astro Train character. And things of that nature. So yeah, let's take a look at um, the little headmaster guys right now. So as we all know, um, the headmasters are just uh, repaints with a new face of uh, Sentinel Prime's Infinitus. And actually, if you start counting up all the times Infinitus is going to be used in this line, this might be the most overused Titan Master body. But on my le on the left here is the Hasbro version that's basically just purple and gray plastic, uh, like light purple. And then here on the right is the Takara version, and you have that richer, darker purple, a um, darker gray, more metallic gray. And then on the head, you do have uh, detailing for the fin, the eyes, and the face plate. And then of course, you know, we flip these around, and here are the heads, and you know. Same face, same head, just uh, different detailing to the paint. 
the, on the Takara version, the lines around the mouth, the chin, and the eyes are picked out more. Um, and, and that and that really makes a difference. In fact, I, when I first looked at it, I thought, oh, wow, that's a whole new face. But no, it's just the details picked out differently. So let's finish up with the final mode. Okay, and here we are. And as I mentioned uh, previously, as I said, some of the ports on the Hasbro version are a little loose. As seen right here with the combined weapon mode, uh, that those are the holes that are uh, the joints for the wing, then on the backpack and in the shuttle mode. So loose here on the Hasbro version, nice and tight here on the Takara version. Making some good reviewers. I remember to fold down all the panels on the train mode. Um, so I'm just going to remove the Hasbro one because I'm going to be handling the train. I don't want it fall, falling out. But as you can see, you know, here it is, this train gunship type of thing. And, uh, you know, it's nice. It's a little, you know, it's a little long. You know, I don't see this as a troop transport type of thing. I think it was more warship type of deal. But big thing I want you to draw your attention to here is all the side panels with the uh, purple on the uh, track. Oh, and look at that. The uh, Takara one just drooped. Yeah, I guess this is a little loose, too. So now Takara one, obviously a little more uh, closer to the G1 in terms of paint scheme. But it's the same mode, so it's that little oversighted ship. What I do like is, if you notice... Watch these panels. Boom. It's actually match when it's closed, matches the gray color, and then the wheels pop out. On the Hasbro one, they're purple all around. And I think that's a really nice detail. Um, but yeah, but again, I, I really don't see the train mode as my favorite mode just because, uh, you know, it's a little long, a little hard to store. I mean, I got these going like all the way in the corner and let me just plug this back in and it's like eh, I mean it's staying now I mean I think if it, it'll droop over time which I think is what or if you tap it but this one unfortunately yeah it's on both sides too I did check but yeah so clearly oh see there you go I just tapped it and there it went I mean clearly this is going you know if you can't tell I don't know what it's been with the headmasters line with the car legends but uh, they, they've just been knocking it out of the park in terms of the detail and the paint and just giving us the designs of the characters we want. Now, you know, the Deluxe Headmasters aside, I mean, that's a whole separate thing. That's, you know, it's the anniversary year over there. and You know, they're doing it the way in their cartoon. But something like Astro Train, which was never really a Headmaster, they really went out of their way to say, okay, it wasn't a Headmaster, but this is how it can look. And I think it's a bang-up job. So, if you can afford it, definitely worth picking up uh, the Legends Astro Train. If you already have the Hasbro one, it's just the paint. And if you like the design, go for the Legends one. But if you're just looking for the mold, and I mean between Sentinel Prime and this, you probably already have it. Uh, you can stick with the Hasbro version. Now, I do want to mention, the Takara version, I actually got from Amazon Japan. They have just opened up within, I would say, the last three, four months from the date of this recording, being able to ship the toys worldwide. That's huge. I, and I just got to say, the experience is very nice. The total price, which is the figure plus shipping, was about $0.10, cents, $0.07 cents less than what Big Bad Toy Store was charging just for the figure before shipping. And... The shipping time, I ordered it on a Saturday, I got it on a Tuesday. So, between, I mean, Big Bad doesn't even have this in stock yet. And normally I would do two-day shipping. Between the processing and when it actually goes out, I actually got this in the same amount of time. So, big game changer. The figure was packed beautifully. It was shrink-wrapped to a piece of cardboard. And then the cardboard was fixed to the bottom of the box, so it was secure, nothing damaged. I mean, really, I think this is going to be a game changer, and I'm looking forward to ordering from them uh, in the future. Because, you know, if you can save a couple shekels, why not? So, this is your old pal Chuck 
for Astro Train and Astro Train and Astro Train and Astro Train. We will see you next time.